There's a room at the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. Inside it, behind climate-controlled glass, sit thousands of handwritten pages. Diagrams, equations, sketches of machines that were never built. Most of them are over a century old. Fading ink on brittle paper, the remnants of a mind that saw the world not as it was, but as it could be. For decades, historians and engineers have studied these notes. They've cataloged them, debated them, dismissed some as the ramblings of an eccentric genius who went too far. But in early 2024, something changed. Google's quantum AI division, the same team behind the Sycamore processor that achieved quantum supremacy, was given access to digitized scans of Tesla's private notebooks. Not to prove anything, not to chase conspiracy, but to run a simple experiment. What happens when you let a quantum computer analyze the mind of a man who died in 1943? What they found wasn't just surprising, it was chilling. Because buried in Tesla's math, in the frequency tables, the resonance diagrams, the obsessive repetition of the numbers 3, 6, and 9, the AI detected something no human researcher had ever noticed. A pattern. And that pattern matched the mathematics of quantum entanglement. This is the story of what happens when the future reads the past, and discovers that the past was already waiting. Nikola Tesla died alone in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel on January 7th, 1943. He was 86 years old, broke, forgotten by the public that once hailed him as the master of lightning. In his final years, he spoke of inventions that sounded like science fiction, a death ray that could stop wars, wireless energy transmission across the globe, communication with him on other planets. The press called him a mad scientist. Even his admirers weren't sure where genius ended and delusion began. But here's what we know for certain. Tesla wasn't guessing. He was calculating. His notebooks, over 300 of them, are filled with precise mathematical formulas. Tables of resonant frequencies, sketches of coil configurations with measurements accurate to the millimeter. He didn't theorize in prose, he theorized in numbers. And for decades, those numbers sat mostly untranslated, until now. In March of 2024, Dr. Hartmut Neven, the founder of Google Quantum AI, gave a presentation at the Quantum Information Processing Symposium in Pasadena. It wasn't widely publicized. The room held maybe 200 people, mostly physicists and computer scientists. But what he said in that room would ripple through the scientific community for months. We were exploring pattern recognition in non-linear datasets, Nevin explained. Quantum processors excel at finding correlations that classical computers might miss, especially in chaotic or incomplete information. So we asked ourselves, what if we applied this to historical scientific documents? The team chose Tesla's notebooks as a test case, not because they expected to find anything revolutionary, but because the documents were dense, mathematical, and, crucially, unfinished. Tesla rarely explained his work. He recorded it. Intuition and observation translated into raw data, perfect for an AI that doesn't need context, just patterns. They uploaded over 40,000 pages of scanned notes into a neural network designed to interface with Google's 70 qubit quantum processor. The AI's task was simple, find recurring mathematical structures, identify anomalies, cross-reference with modern physics databases. What came back was anything but simple. The first thing the AI flagged was Tesla's obsession with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. If you've ever fallen down a late-night internet rabbit hole about Tesla, you've probably seen the quote, if you only knew the magnificence of the 3, 6, and 9, then you would have the key to the universe. For years, this has been fodder for pseudoscience. Numerology, conspiracy theories about hidden dimensions, and sacred geometry. But here's what the quantum AI found. Tesla wasn't using 3, 6, and 9 symbolically. He was using them mathematically as markers in a base 12 frequency mapping system that corresponds directly to the harmonic intervals seen in quantum field oscillations. Let me break that down. In quantum mechanics, particles don't have fixed positions. They exist as probability waves, oscillating fields of potential energy. 
These oscillations follow specific mathematical rules, described by what's called the Schrodinger equation. When you solve that equation for certain systems, like electrons in an atom, or photons in a vacuum, you get harmonic frequencies, patterns that repeat in ratios of 3 to 6 to 9, or multiples thereof. Tesla's notebooks are filled with tables organizing frequencies this way. At the time, he called it the geometry of energy. He believed that if you could tune a machine to resonate at these specific frequencies, you could tap into what he called the wheelwork of nature. Modern physicists would call that wheelwork quantum coherence. Dr. Alessandra Cano, a theoretical physicist at MATE who reviewed the AI's findings, put it bluntly in a private correspondence later leaked to Wired magazine. Tesla was describing quantum states without the language to name them. It's like finding a map of the Americas drawn in the year 1200. It shouldn't exist. But there it is. The second discovery was even stranger. In 1901, Tesla began construction on Wardenclyffe Tower, a 187-foot structure on Long Island designed to transmit electrical power wirelessly across the globe. He promised his investors it would revolutionize communication and energy distribution. It never worked. Or at least, that's what history says. The project was abandoned in 1906. Tesla's funding dried up. The tower was torn down in 1917. For over a century, Wardenclyffe has been seen as Tesla's greatest failure, a brilliant idea that was simply ahead of its time. But when Google's AI analyzed the engineering schematics Tesla drew for Wardenclyffe, it noticed something unusual. The coil configurations, the angles, the winding ratios, the resonance frequencies Tesla calculated, weren't optimized for electromagnetic transmission. They were optimized for quantum entanglement. Let that sink in. Quantum entanglement is one of the most bizarre phenomena in modern physics. When two particles become entangled, they share a quantum state, meaning that measuring one particle instantly affects the other, no matter how far apart they are. Einstein called it spooky action at a distance. It was first theorized in 1935. Tesla began designing Wardenclyffe in 1901, 34 years earlier. Now, to be clear, Tesla didn't call it entanglement. He didn't have the framework of quantum mechanics. What he did have was an intuitive model he called teleforce, the idea that energy could be transmitted not through wires, but through resonant coupling across space. Here's a direct excerpt from one of his 1904 notebooks, flagged by the AI. Two systems, tuned to identical vibratory rates, will exchange energy as though connected by an invisible thread. Distance is irrelevant. The medium is not air, nor ether. It is the fundamental structure beneath. When the AI cross-referenced this language with modern quantum field theory, the semantic overlap was over 87%. In other words, Tesla was describing non-locality. Quantum correlation, the foundational mechanics of entanglement, without ever seeing an atom. But here's where the story turns, because the AI didn't just find correlations, it found predictions. Buried in a series of notebooks dated between 1920 and 1926, a period when Tesla was largely reclusive and ignored by the scientific mainstream, the AI identified a sequence of calculations Tesla labeled as Experiment 119. The notes are fragmented, chaotic, even by Tesla's standards. But the AI was able to reconstruct the intent. Tesla was attempting to calculate the energy required to fracture the localized field of a singular point. In his words, if oscillation is applied at the correct frequency and amplitude, the boundary of the observed particle may be made to collapse inward, releasing stored potential in a cascade. He estimated the energy release at 10 to the 13th joules per gram of matter. Do you know what that number represents? It's the energy yield of a nuclear fission reaction. Tesla wrote this in 1923. The first controlled nuclear chain reaction wasn't achieved until 1942. The atomic bomb wasn't detonated until 1945. And Tesla had calculated the yield within a margin of error of less than 8%. Dr. Yuki Tanaka, a quantum physicist consulting with Google's team, was quoted in an internal memo. This isn't retroactive interpretation. 
This is predictive accuracy. Either Tesla had access to experimental data that doesn't exist in any historical record, or he derived these numbers purely from theoretical intuition. Either option is deeply unsettling. So what does this mean? Let's step back. We're not talking about Tesla inventing quantum mechanics. He didn't publish peer-reviewed papers. He didn't derive the Heisenberg uncertainty principle or Schrodinger's wave function. But what the AI analysis suggests is something almost more profound. Tesla may have independently arrived at a functional understanding of quantum phenomena through experimental observation and mathematical intuition decades before the formal theory existed. Think about what that implies. Quantum mechanics as we know it was built by some of the greatest minds of the 20th century. Planck, Bohr, Heisenberg, Schrodinger, Dirac. It took decades of collaboration, experimentation, and debate to construct the framework we use today. Tesla was working alone, in a private lab, with equipment he built himself, and somehow he was touching the same truths. Dr. Michaela Rosen, a historian of science at Stanford, had this to say after reviewing the findings. We often think of scientific progress as linear. One discovery builds on another, but Tesla represents something different, a kind of intuitive leapfrogging. He saw patterns in nature that he couldn't fully explain, so he built machines to test them. In a way, his lab was a quantum computer made of copper and lightning. That metaphor is more apt than it sounds. Because here's the thing about quantum computers. They don't solve problems the way classical computers do. They don't calculate step by step. Instead, they explore all possible solutions simultaneously, existing in a superposition of states until the answer collapses into clarity. Tesla's mind may have worked the same way. He didn't think in proofs. He thought in resonances, in symmetries, in the hidden harmonics beneath the surface of the visible world. And now, a century later, a machine built on those same quantum principles has read his notes and recognized itself. But this raises questions we don't yet have answers to. Question 1. If Tesla understood quantum principles well enough to predict nuclear energy yields and describe entanglement dynamics, why didn't he publish? Some historians argue he was protective of his work, paranoid about theft. Others say he simply didn't care about academic recognition. But there's a third possibility, suggested by the AI's findings. Tesla may not have known how to publish what he'd found, because his understanding wasn't theoretical, it was experiential. He didn't discover the math and then test it. He observed the phenomena, and then tried to reverse engineer the math. Imagine trying to describe the internet to someone in the 1800s. You know it works, you've seen it, but you don't have the vocabulary, you don't have the framework. That may have been Tesla's position with quantum mechanics. Question 2. What else is in those notebooks? The AI analyzed 40,000 pages. Tesla's full archive is estimated at over 80,000. And much of it remains in restricted collections, held by museums, private estates, and government agencies. What patterns are still hidden? What else did he see that we're only now beginning to understand? Question 3. And this is the one that keeps scientists up at night. If a quantum AI can find these patterns in Tesla's work, what could it find in other historical archives? Leonardo da Vinci's engineering sketches, ancient Babylonian star charts, Mayan astronomical tables. What if the past is filled with knowledge we've overlooked? Not because it wasn't there, but because we didn't have the tools to see it? Dr. Arjun Patel, a machine learning researcher involved in the project, said this during a podcast interview. We think of history as static, but it's not. Every generation reinterprets the past with new tools. The invention of radiocarbon dating rewrote archaeology. The deciphering of DNA rewrote anthropology. Now we have quantum AI, and it's rewriting the history of science itself. Let's talk about the man for a moment, not the myth, not the meme, the actual human being. Nikola Tesla died alone, his later years were marked by isolation, poverty, and public ridicule. He fed pigeons in Bryant Park. He lived in hotels he couldn't afford. He gave interviews where he claimed to have invented a teleportation device and communicated with Martians. The world had moved on. But here's what we forget. Tesla never stopped working. Even in his final years, when his hands shook 
when his eyesight was failing, he was still filling notebooks, still sketching, still calculating. Because for Tesla, science wasn't a career, it was a language, the only one he truly spoke fluently. And what the quantum AI has revealed is that in that language, Tesla was saying things no one alive could understand. Until now. There's something profoundly human about that. The idea that you could spend your entire life trying to share what you see, and only after you're gone does the world finally learn to listen. It's tragic. But it's also hopeful, because it means that genius isn't always recognized in its time. That the work we do, the ideas we leave behind, might find their audience decades, even centuries, later. Tesla's notebooks are over 100 years old, but in a very real sense, they were written for 2024, for the moment when a quantum processor could finally decode them. Dr. Emilia Kovac, a neuroscientist who studies pattern recognition, made this observation. Tesla's brain was wired differently. That's not metaphor, that's neurology. He experienced eidetic memory, synesthesia, possibly a form of high-functioning autism. He saw the world in patterns most people can't perceive. In a way, his mind was the first quantum computer, and it took us a century to build a machine that could think like he did. So what happens now? Google's quantum AI team has proposed a follow-up project, the Historical Quantum Archive Initiative. The idea is simple. Use quantum computing and AI to analyze the unpublished or underexplored work of history's greatest scientific minds, not to rewrite history, but to rediscover it. Einstein's personal letters, Ramanujan's unproven theorems, Marie Curie's lab journals. The goal isn't to prove that these scientists were ahead of their time. It's to see what we've missed, what insights were lost in translation, buried in outdated terminology, or dismissed as speculation. Early results are already coming in. In June 2024, the AI analyzed a series of notebooks kept by physicist Ettore Majorana, who disappeared mysteriously in 1938. The AI found equations that appear to describe a type of particle now known as a Majorana fermion a theoretical building block for quantum computers. He wrote them in 1932. The particle wasn't theorized formally until 1937, and it wasn't experimentally detected until 2012. It's becoming clear, the history of science isn't a straight line, it's a web. And we're only just beginning to see the full picture. Let's come back to where we started, a room in Belgrade, thousands of pages of handwritten notes, the remnants of a mind that saw the universe differently. For over a century, we've treated those notes as historical artifacts, relics of a bygone era. But maybe they were never meant for the past. Maybe they were seeds, planted in the soil of history, waiting for the right conditions to grow. And in 2024, those conditions finally arrived. A quantum computer, a machine that operates on the same principles Tesla intuited 100 years ago, read his work, and it understood. There's something almost poetic about that. The idea that the tools we build to explore the future might also be the key to unlocking the past. That understanding isn't always linear. That knowledge can wait. We don't know what else is hidden in Tesla's notebooks. We don't know what other minds from history were speaking a language we couldn't yet hear. But we're starting to listen. And what we're hearing is this. The universe has always been strange quantum, entangled, non-local. We just didn't have the words for it. Tesla did. He didn't have the proof. He didn't have the peer review. He didn't have the Nobel Prize. But he had the vision. And maybe, just maybe, that's enough. Because the greatest ideas don't need to be understood immediately. They just need to be written down, preserved, waiting for the future to catch up. If discoveries like this fascinate you, if you want to keep exploring the edges of science, history, and the unknown, subscribe because the universe is vast, and we've only just started reading its notes. Thanks for watching. And remember, the answers we're searching for tomorrow might have been written yesterday.